Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to get a Terraria 1.4 server so that you can play with your friends. First of all, you'll need to create an account. To do this, go to Server Pro and enter in your email and new password. Then press sign up. After that, you'll need to activate your account. We'll send you an email so that you can do this. So go to your email inbox and you should see an email from us asking you to activate your account. Click the green button or copy and paste the whole URL into your address bar. It's that simple. Now that you've done that, log in into your account and from here you'll be able to create your own server. We have three plans, free, premium and pro, with pro having the most features and options available such as allowing your server to be hosted in more countries. If you're unsure on what plan to go for, contact our support team and we'll be happy to help you out. On the pricing page, you will see all the hardware specs and all the general features which are available for each server plan, as well as the specific features for different games. Now let's create the Terraria server. First select a plan, I'll choose the free one, then select what country you want to host it in, select the one that is closest to you or your player base. The closer you are to the server location, the better your connection will be. Then select the game, in this case I want Terraria, and now you can choose the server type, such as T-Shock, which will allow you to install plugins. I'm going to use a normal Terraria server type and select the latest version. Enter in a hostname for your server, this is basically going to be the server name, and also you'll be able to use it to connect to your server. Hit the create server button and we're nearly done. Claim your free server like so and you're ready to go. Now just open up your game and copy the hostname or the numerical IP address. Paste it into the Terraria multiplayer section and don't forget the port number as well. It's as easy as that. As you can see I've logged into my server successfully. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any tutorial suggestions leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything or have any questions, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.